Uh, welcome to Messiah Revelation Ministry. We are an end time ministry. Um, I've been talking about a lady by name uh, Mumbi Saraki. And uh, Mumbi Saraki, uh, quote unquote, is a spiritual advisor. She's from Kenya. Uh, she has been making a lot of noise on the YouTube and she's leading so many people uh, to hell. I've made uh, several videos about her. Um, this video is dedicated to African people and those who believe in Africa and those people who uh, believe in uh, Sankofa. Uh, let's go back and retrieve um, the African uh, traditions, African history. And there's nothing wrong um, when you are pro-Africa and you are pan-Africanist and you believe in African progress. But something is wrong when your beliefs and your culture and custom is going to take you to hell. Uh, so many people, uh, the Africans, they believe in Africa um, very much. They are living in Africa or they are living outside Africa, uh, most particularly uh, in the United States. They believe that they have to go back and uh, retrieve the old um, history, uh, particularly and the culture of the ancestors. And they believe that they have to go back and worship the gods that their ancestors were worshiping, i.e. the pagan gods. And uh, making that uh, statement, Pan-African quote-unquote statement, they are saying that they should not, or we should not worship uh, God, the Christian God, because the Christian God is the God of white people. Um, uh, this, this argument is very uh, satanic, is very uh, demonic. You have to remember that in the seven letters that our Lord uh, wrote to the churches in Asia, um, Thyatira, um, Samarina, uh, Radusia, uh, Pergamon, Philadelphia, um, and, and the rest, um, Jesus warned them that they had been worshipping uh, gods, particularly Roman gods, and warned them against the worship of those gods, whether Apollo or whether uh, Zeus and whether um, uh, Baal and other uh, 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 gods. You have to remember that it was the worship of pagan gods. It was because of the worship of pagan gods that the Lord um, sent the children of Judah into captivity and also into slavery. Um, uh, you remember what happened to um, Africans, the Hebrew descent, uh, descendants because of the worship of uh, pagan gods. And so uh, some people are worshipping Apollo and Zeus and some people are worshipping Baal and Baphomet and a lot of people in the United States and Europe, they are worshipping Freemason, they are worshipping Illuminati gods and Africans want to go back and worship the pagan gods. The same sin that led the Lord taking the children of Judah into captivity. And is that what you are saying? Is that what Mumbi Saraki is saying? That we should go back and worship the African uh, pagan gods. No, this satanic teaching move away from it. Mumba Seraki is also talking about communicating with the dead. The need for Africans to communicate with the spirit of the dead. You have to remember the Deuteronomy is against necromancy. Necromancy. Mumbi Seraki is preaching doctrines that would take people to hell. Mubi Saraki, the lady from Kenya, is saying that you should go back and worship the spirits of the ancestors in direct disobedience to the teachings of God in Deuteronomy against necromancy, against the communication with the dead, against communication with dead spirits, against communication with uh, idols. Mumbi Saraki is also saying that Jesus is an invention. Uh, it's an invention, and uh, Jesus uh, is not original. And he made a very stupid argument. The argument is that the letter J 
is a recent discovery, the letter J. And so Jesus could not be in the Bible because the word J, the letter J, um, is a recent invention. Um, it's a very stupid uh, argument. It's a demonic argument. And all those who make those arguments, um, uh, you need to repent. And Mumbi Saraki, like other Pan-African um, um, theologians, or, or spiritualists, or uh, activists, or um, crusaders, uh, they are saying that Jesus is a white man's God. He call it the, the, the God of Nzungu. Nzungu uh, meaning a white person. Um, there's no place for racism and race in the worship of our Lord and Savior and Jesus Christ. Um, if you don't take care, race will be a hindrance to you and it will lead you to hell. There are so many people who will go to hell because of race and because of racism and for you to say that you are not worshiping God because the God that we are talking about is a God of white people or a God of black people you are being racist and your racism is going to take you to hell. Uh, Jesus has been manipulated, has been abused and has been misinterpreted but does it mean that Jesus did not exist. No, Jesus, according to the scriptures, was born in Nazareth. And so when I mention the name Jesus or Yeshua or the Messiah in my preachings or anywhere, I'm talking about the man who was born of virgin birth in Nazareth. That's the Jesus I'm not I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Jesus with blue eyes, um, with um, um, brown hair. I'm also not talking about an African Jesus. I'm not talking about uh, any other Jesus. I'm talking about the Jesus, the man, the son of God, the Messiah, the lion of tribe of Judah, who was born in Nazareth. The root of Jesse and the bright morning star is the Jesus I'm talking about. Please, the most important thing is for you to know the word of the Lord, regardless of who you are. You can be a Pan-Africanist, you can be, um, you can call yourself a Hebrew, but if you don't know the word of the Lord, if you are not living a holy life, and you are not repenting, you are not going anywhere. You are Jewish ancestry, or you are ancestry to the tribe of Judah is not going to take you you anywhere if you deny Jesus if you do not repent if you do not engage in holy life nothing that is unholy will enter the kingdom of God some people made a comment under Mumbi Saraki's um, videos and I believe they are black people, I believe they are African Americans, they, I believe they are, they are people of African descent. And they are saying that they cannot worship the same God that the oppressors are worshipping. This is a very stupid argument. You are not going to worship a God that the oppressors are worshipping. So let's assume um, the colonial powers, the people who colonize Africa are your oppressors. You are not worshipping the same God that the oppressors and worship who created the universe who created heavens and earth it is one creator the lord elohim he created everything he created even the demons in this world the lord created all of them and remember paul what paul said he said the slave master master and the slaves who are all christian they worship the same god you worship the same God. And so you cannot tell me you and your oppressors cannot worship the same God. You are making a mistake. The mistake made by the racist colonial powers, the racist pastors, particularly in the United States, who did not want to worship in the same place that black people are worshiping. That's why in the United States, when you go to church, in so many churches, white people sit somewhere, 
and then black people sit somewhere because they are dividing the church along the lines of color, the color of the skin. And so going back to my African brothers and sisters, um, the Jesus that we are talking about is not a black Jesus or white Jesus. We are talking about the lion of the tribe of Judah. We are talking about the Messiah. And you need to know that uh, in the end of this, so many demons will be put in the system, particularly on the YouTube, to preach demonic doctrines. And one of them is Mumbi Saraki, who is preaching that Jesus is an invention, Jesus doesn't exist, who is also preaching that heaven is in your mind. Um, I think Mubi Saraki is combining free New Age teachings with probably Freemason teachings and African uh, witchcraft and also the uh, the spirit of Jezebel is working in her and she is preaching demonic doctrines. My last admonition goes to um, some of the black people, particularly living in the United States, who believe that Jesus is the God of white people and as a result, they are worshiping Allah. Uh, please, yeah, if you are making that mistake, um, let me warn you that John chapter 40 verse 6, nobody goes to the Father except through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So if you do not repent now, and because of racism and bigotry, uh, you are saying that Jesus is a white man's God, you are no, so you are not going to worship Jesus. You are making a damn mistake. You are making a damn mistake. You are digging your own grave and you are laying the foundation for your own destruction. You will be cast into the lake of fire. Thank you for this.